Good morning, everybody. Rachel's over here editing the vlog. Look at her. Guys, comment down below how proud you are of her. I haven't done any editing in the last uh, probably three vlogs, and she's never like this. She's learning, and she's doing very good. But it's 10 o'clock. Um, the other vlog is posted. My, my videos are posted. Now we have a lot of cleaning to do in the house, so that's going to be a lot of the day. But we also might head to Ikea this afternoon. Should be pretty interesting for you guys to watch. Are you excited for Ikea? Huh? Are you excited for Ikea? Always. Ikea's a blast. It can get pretty crazy, but since it's not the weekend, it should be okay. I'm heading to uh, lunch right now with my buddy Ian. Uh, I know him from uh, my church and uh, the youth group that I go to. So we're gonna go grab some lunch. I'm excited about it. I love this spot. They have an amazing sandwich and I can't wait to eat it. So I'm going to a place called Earl's Grocery. Okay, and uh, it's kind of like a, a bodega of sorts. So they have like a uh, sandwich shop and whatnot. I love sandwich. I feel like sandwiches is one of my favorite types of food. Uh, I have a lot of tips. As you can, you guys can tell on the vlog, we just love food. So we're going here for a sandwich. Uh, but they have a lot of like cool, like craft root beer and stuff like this. So I always get a root beer when I'm there. Um, and just these like, have you guys ever had? What is it, Dr. Brown's, Mr. Brown's, those drinks? Like drinks that you don't really see at like a fountain or whatever. Um, but yeah, so heading over there, getting my sandwich, and I'm very excited about it. It's one of my favorite sandwiches. Um, but I'm about to pull up, so we'll see, uh, we'll see in a second. I just saw Ian walk inside. He ran across the street. A guy just uh, recognized me and said, hey, Molt. <laughs> so it's pretty funny, but we're walking into Earl's now. All right, so I made it to Earl's. Ian's with me. And uh, we got two turkey sandwiches with bacon on them. Because a club sandwich is my favorite type of sandwich. What type of sandwich? Do you have a favorite type of sandwich? Anything Italian. Italian? Yeah, anything Italian. All right, so he likes Italians. I like club sandwiches, so I always put bacon on it, but we're gonna enjoy this. We got some root beers, we're gonna hang out, and then I'll catch you guys up. Alright guys, I'm leaving lunch with Ian. It was great. Our sandwiches were made perfectly. Um, there's some construction over here. He's right here. See him? He's laughing. He's laughing to the vlog. But we're heading home. I got to go to Ikea um, with Rachel. So we'll see you guys later. So we just stopped at the Habitat Restore to drop off the lights that we switched out. And also, what else was in that, uh, what else did we drop off, Michael? A microwave that I actually uh, replaced myself. Guys, I've done, a, I, even though I never knew anything about handy stuff, I've installed lights and microwaves. You did. But we were trying to make fun of the fact that it was in my house for four months. <laughs> it sure was. I'm being honked at. Yeah, even though you still can't go. Well, that Buick was gonna kill me if I didn't accelerate. Uh, a Buick just honked at us because they wanted us to turn into oncoming traffic, which is fine, like, right? I mean, I guess that's ultimately my choice. You know, but we're heading 
to Ikea now, so see you guys there. We made it to Ikea. Oh my gosh, it's so big. I'm worried. I actually enjoy it, because we know what we're here for. When you don't know what you're here for, it can be pretty difficult, because you just you just get lost, right? What? The fact that we you're know- You're never lost in no, Ikea. No, the fact that we know what we're here for makes it a little bit easier. Oh, but that doesn't stop me. This is like the target of, of furniture stores, where I just end up with like six mason jars and a weird sponge I didn't yeah we're definitely we'll show you we'll show you guys uh, what we grab in a little bit Michael that's a cool shirt yeah you like it yeah y'all go to brightstone b-r-t-s-t-n dot com or brightstoneapparel.com check them out no it's oh, following literally. us literally we just replaced that I just took this thing off the ceiling and replaced now it. it's back should we just buy it again yes <laughs> you can't do it <laughs> you can't take us anywhere. So here's the sad truth of the matter. It is pretty sad, actually. IKEA was sold out of what we needed. Ridiculous. So we left completely empty-handed, except for Michael bought a Diet Pepsi or something. We're mad at you, IKEA. Yeah, literally the only thing we got there was a Pepsi. So now we're headed to the mall to get Michael a new phone. Yeet. So I'm sitting out back with Lucy. Hey, Louie. Hi, sweet girl. Michael just ran to pick Millie up because she went, um, hi, sweet girl, to get a bath and get her nails done like the fancy lady she is. Um, we've got two friends coming over for dinner tonight, um, Jordan and Brent. They got married the week before we did, so they're very newlywed as well, and so we're excited to have friends like them to get to walk through this scary marriage thing with. Um, but so they're coming over for dinner, so I've got some stuff in the kitchen getting ready now, but I wanted to hop on here really quick and just chat for a second while I was waiting on my water to boil. Um, I don't really know like how much of this whole marriage thing we're supposed to share with y'all um but i know that our goal for doing this video series was to you know be pretty open and honest and share some pieces of what marriage is like for us and so his hair looks crazy um i just wanted to say that earlier this morning michael and i had like a really nice talk um i know i mentioned in one of the comments with someone earlier that we were talking about the love languages book um it's really awesome it's very important if you're in a relationship if you're getting married I highly suggest reading it even if um, you're struggling with parenting or you know teacher relationships boss relationships whatever the dynamic might be understanding someone's love language is really important and understanding your own because I think a lot of the times if you don't know how someone else receives love then you don't know how to make them feel loved um, and in the same way if you don't know what makes you feel loved you it's hard to understand why someone isn't making you feel that way so it causes a lot of miscommunications and misunderstandings that can be avoided if you understand a little bit more about what that person's love language is. So um, I'm a bit introverted, so my love language um, skews pretty high toward quality time. And so it can be really difficult for me when I don't feel like I'm getting quality time with my friends or family or Michael um, for me to feel connected to them, which ends up just causing me to like push back and get even more disconnected. Um, and so as hard as it is to believe in our first couple of weeks of marriage, especially since we've gotten back from the honeymoon, because I think I got so much quality time with Michael on the honeymoon that when we came back, it was almost kind of an adjustment to be like, oh wait, this is what life is like. Like he has work and I have commitments and we have friends to see and things to do and errands to run and things to move. And you know, we aren't necessarily getting to have a ton of quality time together. So. We had a really nice chat this morning um, before he went to lunch with Ian just, you know, about how I was feeling and um, what I'm struggling with right now and what we can kind of do to help improve that. Um, Michael is fantastic at communicating. I'm sure y'all can probably guess that from what he does for a living. It's not something I'm very good at. I don't like to express my emotions. I don't like to talk about my problems. I'm one of those people that um, would prefer to just kind of deal with it on my own and you know brush it aside until it doesn't bother me anymore um, and you know with years and years of 
therapy and stuff, I've learned that that's not the best way for me to handle it. Um, learning to process my emotions and express my emotions is really important too. So it's nice to have someone like Michael that makes me feel comfortable being vulnerable and expressing those types of concerns. Because even though, you know, he's not doing anything intentionally wrong by us not having, or me not feeling like I'm getting quality time, and he doesn't ever make me feel like, oh, you're crazy for thinking that. Like, can't you see like these? very true things um, in that statement you know like can't you see why we're not getting this time and don't you understand that like he more so is just like okay that makes sense like I can understand how that <laughs> oh the dogs are bad um, oh my gosh Lucy. but anyway so getting to <laughs> the dogs are here the dogs are here look film them that about wraps up my conversation um oh Millie has a nice bandana on yeah um but yeah, so it was nice to get to have a good chat and talk about it. And, um, oh, Lucy, probably don't sniff that. She's pooping. Oh, no. She's pooping. Millie, show the world your bandana. Well, don't you look nice. Millie. Our friends are on their way, and this uh, little chef right here has made some mac and cheese and some, what's that? Green Gar beans. Garlic green beans. Mm -hmm. So there's garlic on top of the green beans and then we have nothing inside of that teacup uh, and we've got some chicken in the oven but we're not gonna open it because you gotta keep the heat in. Um, so they should be here in a little bit and then we'll get dinner. Okay. All right, our friends just got here. This is Brent and Jordan. Uh, Rachel made chicken and mac and cheese and vegetables. And She's right good. here. Millie's right down there. Uh, Lucy's in the bedroom because it was thundering earlier and she's scared of thunder so she needs a safe place. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner and put the camera down. Well guys, Jordan and Brent just left. We uh, talked for a very long time. It's the first time they've been over for dinner. They were a part of our life group and stuff. Uh, though, so they've been over before. The dogs are playing right now. Louie's being a goofball. But we had an absolute blast with them. Uh, great friends. Y y you always know people by how you're able to talk to them. So we had a great time with them. But I think we're going to call it a night. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow.